and I have so much stuff to list on eBay. It's ridiculous. I can't just keep adding to it. Like Nicole told me, she's like, My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I am at Plaza Thrift, Plano, Texas. Oh, craptastic Sam's sister location. And uh, I forgot my keys. All right, well. Hey, we're gonna head in there and we're gonna see what kind of goodies they got. Maybe, just maybe, we'll score some vintage toys today. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that those vintage craptastic gods are good to me today. Anything in the case, we got some Hot Wheels. We got some Izzy and Dizzy. And I think that's about it. All right, y'all, let's check the shelves. All right, what do we got here? What's this thing? Oh, he's a little robot with like spider legs. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at the big old T-Rex. Oh, he's colorful. Let's pull him out, get a little better look at him. Oh yeah, look at that guy. And this mechanical bird parrot is still here without his wings. I really doubt this guy will ever sell. Looks like we got some sort of horse. Ooh, check it out. It's a TMNT in a mech suit. That's cool, I actually have. Actually, this is the first time I have seen this style of M uh, TMNT in a thrift store. It's actually the first time I've seen that style, period. That is cool. I actually have another mech suit at the house with a TMNT in it with a Raphael in it, and they only want four bucks for that. All right, I think we're gonna grab this. This is pretty cool. And what do we got here? We got a Black Panther. Is this like a construction hat? Yeah. Wonder if there's any other, what's this? Let's see, Texas Skyway. September 28, 2007, the first year Skyway reopened at the Texas State Fair. Oh, interesting. Those must be like little tokens to it. Wanting to see, hoping maybe they had some other mech suits around. Oh, there's a Chewbacca. Check him out. Yeah, big old 13, 12, 13 inch Chewbacca. Nice. What do they want for this guy? Oh, $7. Get out of here. What is this thing? A Judy Instructo, original Judy clock. Buck 91, what is that? I'm gonna look that up. That could be vintage. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna pick this up because they sell for about 15 to 20 bucks. And uh, it's used for homeschooling, it said. So they only want a buck 91 for it. I think it'll make just a cool display piece. So I'm gonna get it. All right, let's see, is there anything else down here? Looks like some sort of tractor. Yeah, I think we're about tapped out on the shelves. Let's go rummage through some bags. Uh, looks like we got, well, there's like a little Nerf gun. I was gonna say some baby toys and stuff like that. There's a baby bottle. And, uh, oh, there's a, looks like a, a ping pong paddle, Spider-Man style. Oh, what's this thing? This big golden bear. Looks like some McDonald's toys in there, a hand grenade, and we got some action figures up here, this squirrel, nothing else. Oh, and there's like another squirrel, there's his buddy. So they got him in this bag, and then I got him in this bag. All right, what else do we got? Got some Hot Wheels in here. Little British uh, Mini Cooper, maybe. Oh, look at this big old Barbie Jumbo airplane. And then this wand has been here for weeks. And then we got a pirate's treasure chest. All right, what's in this bag? All right, we got a canteen, a fire extinguisher. We've got a T-Rex in there. Bicycle pump? No, that's the fire extinguisher. I thought that was a bicycle pump. That's just a bigger fire extinguisher. A McDonald's toy. And, oh yeah, this bag of dinos has been here forever and a day as well. At least, at least a couple of weeks. 
All right, now check this out. I was in here the other day and wanted to buy this. And I told them it didn't have a price tag on it. And here it is today, back out on the shelf. She actually took it from me. She's like, I can't sell it to you because it has to have a price on it. And here it is back on the shelf without a price. Man, I really want that game. It sucks, I'm gonna have to take it up to the front and uh, show them what's up. Hey, check this out, what is this? Commander in Chief. It's a board game, a strategy war game for the ages. Oh, check it out, they got tanks. Looks like uh, jet fighters, maybe some naval battleships. Oh uh, yeah, that is cool. I wonder what they want for that. Is there a price on it? Mm, I do not see a price on this thing either. Oh, there it is, $6.96. It was on the back the whole time. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get that, but that's cool. Hey, check this out. The Lost World. Let's bring this over here. Oh, wow, look at that. They're actually blockbuster tapes. That is cool, man. What is this? The Lost World Collector Does It. Oh, well, it comes in tape one and tape two. Two different tapes for that movie. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. And we've got a SpongeBob, Sea Stories, VHS. That's cool too. Sleeping Beauty. Lots of South Park. Like probably the whole collection of South Park here. Yeah, got them all. Oh, look at this, Caddyshack, awesome. Oh, look at this, Red Dawn. Oh my God, I gotta get that. Oh, and look, they also have meatballs. Somebody had some good taste in movies. Oh wow, they even have stripes. All right, y'all, we got ourselves some scores. Man, those VHS tapes were awesome. I've been looking for Red Dawn in the back of my head. Every time I'm looking through the VHS tapes, I'm like, maybe they'll have a Red Dawn in here. Today they did. Apparently somebody was actually a Bill Murray fan. A lot of the movies were Bill Murray. So, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump in the car and do a little show and tell. All right, first up, oh my gosh, this movie is freaking hilarious. If you haven't seen Meatballs, I highly recommend it. We watched it uh, a few months ago during a 80s movie night at Casa del Burf with the family. Me, Nicole, and Caroline the Greatest watched it, and it was just so, so funny. So I highly recommend this movie, but man, how cool was that? I also picked up the Stripes movie. I'm going to have to take a uh, pencil eraser to these... Uh, these are not a permanent marker, by the way. These, right, this right here is like a wax pen sort of thing, wax pencil, but I can easily take that off with an eraser. But yeah, we got Bill Murray and Stripes. I want you for the US Army. This is another classic movie. Awesome, we actually watched this on TV not too long ago. And I finally scored Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen. Man, this is an epic, epic movie. This is so good. I can't even tell you how many times I've watched this movie, dozens and dozens of times. And uh, in fact, I introduced my brother-in-law, James, to Red Dawn about five or six years ago. He had never heard of the movie and we watched it together and he was like, that was freaking awesome, bro. So we got some Red Dawn and then I got Leonardo in this awesome mech suit. It's actually battery powered. Uh, I tried turning on the switch here and it doesn't work, so it's gonna need batteries. So I thought one of the things we could do is take it home, put some batteries in it, and uh, see if it actually works. But this thing is super cool. Again, like I was saying in the store, I've never seen this type of turtle before. This is the first one of these in my collection, so I'm pretty stoked about that, but it's got these uh, awesome uh, treads here on the bottom, these tracks, and uh, looks like you can shoot some missiles out of here. So it's obviously missing some pieces, but it's still super cool. All right, well, I'll tell you what, before we head home and see if the 
mech suit actually works. Uh, let's go hit up some more thrift stores. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna end up, but wherever we end up, I will see you there. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and I'm gonna pray, 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 pray that the vintage Goodwill gods are good to me today. All right, well, let's see. What do we got on the shelves today? What's this guy here? Hmm. He's different. I have not seen a dino that looked like that. It's kind of streamlined almost. Speaking of dinos, Mr. Broken Neck is here. Still. Uh, I don't know. I will be shocked if you ever get sold. Uh, check out this RC car. Too bad it doesn't have its remote. Alright, what do we got going on over here in plush, plushy world? <laughs> Baby. We got like a Symbols 2001 Resort Gifts. Uh, oh, it says Phoenix on them. And what's this here? We got an NFL bear, a very colorful sloth. Um, not really seeing anything else. What's this thing? Oh. Yeah, well, here's a football. All right, busted, busted at the goody wheel. All right, guys. Well, let's head home and let's uh, see if the mech suit, the turtle mech suit, works. Oh, you might be wondering too, hey, why didn't you get that Judy clock? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't get it. I thought about getting it. I thought I'd make it a cool little display piece, but then I was like, you know, it's just probably more junk. And I have so much stuff to list on eBay. It's ridiculous. I can't just keep adding to it. Like Nicole told me, she's like, you really shouldn't even be thrifting until you get some of this stuff listed and sold. And I agree with her. I just gotta get the motivation to do it you know so there's money to be made <laughs> all right well let's head home and uh see what we can do with this mech suit all right guys we're back at the bunker let's see if we can get this bad boy to work well guys i'm sorry to report he does not work the mech suit does not work i put batteries in him i cleaned up the nodes on it, you know, like just to get any corrosion off of it. And unfortunately, he does not turn on. He has zero movement, but he looks badass, man. I mean, he lo looks really, really cool. I really wish I could have got this to work. You know, that's the gamble you take sometimes when you're buying toys from the thrift store. But regardless, he still makes a pretty cool display piece he is missing some parts here obviously but uh all in all i still think it's pretty awesome and like i said you know for display purposes he looks badass well hey you win some you lose some that's just how the cookie crumbles but regardless i had fun and i hope you had fun too if you did comment below and said hey burf sorry about your luck but I had fun with you anyway. Hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.